Welcome to Entrepreneurial Skills. In this session, we're going to provide you with information about the skills and behaviors often linked with entrepreneurs. Before this video, you were asked to write down three skills that you think entrepreneurs need to have. Here's a set of responses from a class of Cardiff University students. A lot of these answers are very good and insightful. Also, some of the answers are less helpful because they reflect common misconceptions about entrepreneurs. Let's consider three themes. Negative behaviours. Some of the answers here describe negative behaviours such as being ruthless, cunning and manipulative. You may have seen examples in the media of business professionals behaving in dishonest or corrupt ways. In fact, starting a business requires a lot of collaborative working, building positive relationships and optimism. Being ruthless and cunning would not typically help an entrepreneur with starting a business. There's also a growing trend in new businesses which are social enterprises. A social enterprise is a business which has a social or environmental ethos. A famous example of a social enterprise is the Big Issue magazine. The second theme is genius. Many famous entrepreneurs are known for having innovative ideas and sometimes becoming extremely wealthy. These factors often make people think that entrepreneurs are academically gifted or geniuses. There's no evidence that entrepreneurs are top of the class academically. There is a common belief that entrepreneurs can think of new and innovative things that most people can't think of. This is also misleading. Because we're all part of the same society and we know and experience many of the same things, it's very common that different, unconnected people have the exact same idea. Many great inventions through history were thought of by different people at the same time. Stephen Johnson calls this the adjacent possible. The reason many of us associate great ideas with specific individuals isn't because they were the only person to have the idea, but because they brought the idea to life. You don't need to be a genius to bring your ideas to life. You need skills and behaviours such as resilience, perseverance and collaboration. The final theme is charisma. Charisma describes a natural char characteristic that some people have that makes them influential and attract attention and admiration. It is problematic to think that entrepreneurs need to be charismatic. Charisma is a natural quality that can't be taught or learned. This may give the impression that starting a business requires natural gifts that can't be learned or developed. In fact, successful entrepreneurs display a range of natural personality traits. There is no evidence to suggest that charisma is normal or even necessary. It is often true that entrepreneurs do influence and inspire admiration, but this is typically due to their actions and achievements and their reputation. As with most professions, there are skills and behaviours that can be learned to help entrepreneurs achieve their goals and build their reputations. Look at the words which are still on screen. We're now getting closer to the truth about entrepreneurial skills and behaviours.